Hey guys, what's happening? Thanks for tuning in and coming back and watching. I appreciate it. I hope your day is going great. I'm having fun because I'm playing with photos and that's always fun. Um, wanted to say thank you because I did a recent video, which I'll put there, about how I got a, uh, a free copy of On One Effects and have been playing with it. And a lot of feedback about that. A lot of people encouraged me to make videos about On One. Uh, I think I probably will get the full suite On One Photo Raw. Um, and uh, anyway, in the meantime, I am playing with On One Effects still. And I kind of wanted to walk through a photo edit. I'm having a lot of fun with it. I'm discovering things. It's very powerful and very fun. So let me just jump into it. Um, I've got this photo from Cannon Beach. Sorry, my head's itching. Um, and I like the photo. So I take a lot of photos like this. Uh, and you might say, like, what, Jim? Um, these are what I call snapshots, right? So there's photos where you're going out and you're like making a photo. Like you have an idea and you want to like, you know, you know it's something you're trying to do and you're purposeful about it. Maybe that's the best way to describe it. Um, I also take a lot of snapshots. Um, snapshots to me are just like, I'm there, it's interesting or pretty or whatever, but maybe the conditions aren't great or maybe I don't have the right gear. And so I just take a shot. Um, not a lot of planning, just like, oh, I like that, and so click. This is one of those, this is a snapshot. I, I take a lot of them, as I said. Um, I mean, it's a beautiful area. This is Haystack Rock in Cannon Beach, Oregon, and the needles there, just absolutely gorgeous. But it had rained, it was a cloudy day, there's no one on the beach, and so I was walking around, and uh, you know, it's, I like moody skies, I like clouds, I like empty places, uh, so I took the photo, but um, admittedly, like it's, kind of boring. Um, and so I wanted to make something kind of creative and unique and interesting. So that's what I'm going to do now. So let me hop into it. Um, first thing is I'm going to go over here and get a preset. I mentioned in that other video that I'm liking the presets and on this color grading, I really like this cool landscape. So one click and I'm going to click that icon again to close the preset menu simply because I want my photo to be bigger on the screen. So that, um, uh, Preset is now on my photo, and you can see over here that the various filters that comprise this preset have been included. You might look at this and say, Jim, there's nothing done on Tone Enhancer because all these sliders are at zero. The sliders are at zero, but if you click on Curves, you can see they did um, kind of your a very light S-curve, which is kind of basically, you know, bringing up the contrast, that sort of thing. So if I turn that off, you can see that it does make it a little bit more contrasty image which really plays into what I'm trying to do. Uh, this photo filter has added some of that blue. Let me show you that before and after. And then tone enhancer once again, you see it's a little bit less on the exposure, but again, there's a curves adjustment made this time on the blue to accentuate that a little bit. So let me show you before and after. So we got some nice blue going, but I wanna go moodier and a little bit more um, uh, dramatic, I guess. So I'm gonna go over to the local tab and as I said in that video, when you click on local, this allows you to, to customize adjustments to specific parts of the image, which you can apply with a, a brush of some sort, right? And I'm going to do that. <clears throat> Excuse me. The first thing I'm going to do is there's some presets over here on this local adjustment filter that come in. Um, and I'm going to click on this darken. And you'll notice here that the exposure, let me just reset it. Um, everything's at zero. When I hit darken, you can see exposure goes to negative one. So it's basically uh, by an increment of one, they made... Uh, whatever I'm going to mask in darker. Now, nothing's been masked in, so nothing's darker yet, and that's where this next step comes in. So what I've been doing is going over here and grabbing this, which is your brush, as it says, adjustment brush, and uh, then you can just paint it in. But because it's primarily just the top of the photo that I'm working on, I'm going to use this icon, and that's the adjustable gradient, right? So you click on that, and you can see you have this little icon now, and you have an adjustable gradient. So you could just drop that into your photo, and I'm gonna drop it about like that, maybe a little bit higher. An adjustable gradient, as the name implies, um, it's basically a horizontal plane, and you can make uh, edits within that plane. In this case, I'm coming in from the top, and so the full effect of my edit, which is the exposure of negative one, uh, is, uh, from the dotted line to the top of the image, from the dotted line to the center, it's kind of a gradient, which means it fades uh, away as you get closer to the center line. And then below the center line, um, you know, it's gonna fade more and then basically nothing down below here. So that's kind of where I am and I like that. And that's made it a little bit darker, a little bit moodier. Um, the cool thing about the adjustment panel over here is if you wanna add more local adjustments, you just say add adjustment. And I've got another one, right? So 
If you look down here, this is the one that I already added. The new filters come in on top, right? You can also tell that a mask has been applied because of this um, little box here where you see the black and the white. That's basically code for, hey, there's a mask applied. Um, black conceals and white reveals. Yeah. <laughs> Let me make sure I got that right. Yeah, I do. Black conceals and white reveals. So the black, the mask that I added, which is this first filter, a darker exposure, it's black on the bottom of the photo, which means it's been concealed there. In other words, that darken is not occurring there, and it's revealed up top. So anyway, let's move on to this next one. I'm actually going to do the same thing here. So I'm going to hit darken. I've got negative one, and I'm going to bring a gradient mask. Uh, you can grab this little guy and spin it around, which is what I want to do. I want to invert this mask. Now, um, I haven't played with On1 uh, long enough yet to see if there's an uh, easier way to do that. There may be. Um, so if you have tips for me, let me know. But in this case, I wanted to adjust the gradient. Um, maybe, you know, same kind of thing. Leave it about in the center and kind of go like that. So what I've done is I've darkened the top and it brightens a little bit as it gets to the center. And then I've darkened the bottom and it brightens a little bit as it gets to the center and goes up. So if you turn off that and that to turn off the filters, you can see I've got quite a different photo. And that's what I like about the power of these local adjustments. So at this point I was thinking, hey, that's pretty cool. I really like it. But I went back over to the effects menu so I'm no longer applying local adjustments. I'm going back to kind of global adjustments. Uh, and this is the filters. I'm going to get a couple of more filters. So I'm going to go over here, say add filter. There we go. Um, and your filter menu comes up. And there's, there's a lot of good things here, to be honest. Um, the first one I'm going to use is actually called sunshine. And you might be thinking, Jim, you're making a dark, moody photo. Why are you adding sunshine? And if you look at the description, I don't know how well you can read that. Um, I don't know if I, yeah, here we go. It says the filter increases the appearance of sunshine. Okay, not really what I'm going for in this photo, but it makes a flat, cloudy day more vivid. That is what I'm going for. So sunshine filter it is. Uh, again, that gets added on top. My preset was this tone enhancer with the blue, the color filter, and this tone enhancer with the contrast. So now I've got sunshine, and you can see already it's quite a bit bluer. There's the before, and there's the after. That's because it comes in at 50. I'm actually going to take that down to maybe, let's say, 35. I'm not trying to overdo the blue. Uh, in fact, I might even take a little bit lower, maybe 25 or something. Um, so there we go. Here's the before and the after. It just adds a little bit of oomph, and it does make a flat, cloudy day more dramatic, right? And and kind of gives it a little oomph, which is nice because I had a flat, cloudy day. So even though it's called sunshine, um, it's not always about the sunshine. And the last thing I'm going to do is click add filter and I'm going to get glow. And as you can see here, it says it adds a soft focus to your photo. Um, and also one of the things I like about their, their filters here is that there's keywords. So you can search it by keyword, I believe, uh, and you can search it by name, of course. But this says Blur Creative Orton. Um, and if you've seen any of my videos that I've used um, in, um, in like Luminar, for example, I like to use the Orton effect, uh, which basically creates a kind of a shadowy, moody, uh, I don't know how to describe it. It's like a soft focus uh, thing, anyway. It's really pretty and it looks great on some uh, certain photos, right? I think it looks pretty great here. It kind of does pop the highlights a little bit and it creates a little bit of darkness as well. So if you wanted, you could go back over here and say, well, okay, maybe I want to lift the shadows now a little bit. Um, as you can see, I'm kind of playing with that because what I don't want to lose is some of these, ref uh, these ripples and the reflection of Haystack Rock. I just think it looks really cool. That's part of the uh, what drew me to the photo. So there's the before glow or Orton or whatever you want to call it. And there's after. Uh, let me show you where we started just to give you an idea. Here's a split screen. You can see a flat, cloudy, kind of lifeless day. Um, and so here's a full uh, compare. There's the before and there's the after. So that's with a preset and two more filters and then two local adjustments. And I was able in just a few minutes to go from Really, um, I don't want to call it a throwaway shot. I mean, it's, it's a lovely place, absolutely stunningly gorgeous. Honestly, probably like the Oregon coast is probably my favorite place in the U.S. I just love it. Um, but um, not an amazing shot, Not nothing particularly 
cool or interesting about what I did. Again, a snapshot, right? Nothing wrong with it. I take them all the time. You probably do too. And I encourage you to take them. I think it helps reinforce your skills, makes you think a little bit. Um, and taking photos, it's like, it's like a, it's a creative muscle, right? So you want to keep sort of flexing that muscle and building it. Um, so I take photos all the time, a lot of which never make it anywhere, which is okay. But this was one I was looking at and I was like, yeah, not so great. Um, but I've come a long way. Now, there's a lot of spots and some smudges on my lens. You can go fix that by clicking this fix button and going ahead and taking those out. You can go through and uh, erase those. I'm not going to bore you to death by what, having you watch me do that in this video. Just know you can do that, and that's one of the great things about On One Effects. And that was really it, my friends. Just wanted to show you that photo. So one more time, here's the original. And here's the almost finished, not quite finished, because I need to go take care of all those spots. But I'll do that on my own time, not on your time. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, give it a like and share it with your friends. And let me know what you think about um, this kind of video for On One. I'm going to keep diving in and doing some more stuff. And I'm having a good time with it. So thanks for the encouragement to do it. Thank you for watching. And hope your day is a great one. I'll see you soon, my friends. Have a great day. Take care and adios.